hi guys i am back with another video now i have tried to film this a good 10 or so times and every time either the phone has rung or my son has been crying <laughs> and the phone has rung about six or seven times so <laughs> my son's not the one interrupting me most um now i have a empties haul for you um empties haul empties video for you um i have used up all of my old bars because I'm now a, consult a consultant, of course. So all of these bars are extremely old. Most of them, I don't even think you can get some of these scents anymore. Um, so they all look a little bit, they've all started sweating. Um, so they look a little bit gross. But anyway, I will start with my cleaning products. I have my beloved Counter Clean in Lemon Verbena. I've gone through one of these. There's a tiny bit left in the bottle, but I can't get it out with the spray, so I might have to get it out with, pour it onto a cloth and use it that way. Um, this is amazing stuff. This is absolutely amazing stuff. You can get stains out of clothes with it. I use it even, my husband came running in the door yesterday with absolutely filthy shoes on. <laughs> he needed to go to the toilet. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> um, and I use this to get the dirt out of the carpet. And it just, it works amazingly. And it smells, of course, awesome. I used the bathroom cleaner and lemon verbena scent yesterday. And about two hours later I went in and I could still smell um, the scent. I can't see what I'm doing. Like I can't, the brightness from the back, I can't see. <laughs> it's making my eyes a bit funny. Um, I have an empty dish soap in Blue Grotto. Now, I said this in my last video, but I love this. Absolutely love the dish soap, but I didn't like the scent in the dish soap, Blue Grotto, until I had finished this bottle. And now I've got another one to use because it came in my whiff box, and I am highly excited about that. So there's the dish soap. Now, this is amazing stuff. Um, I made a pizza the other night and didn't put anything under in between the tray and the pizza I just put the pizza on the tray and of course cheese got baked to it and if you know what that's like it is rather difficult to get off unless you soak it in water and just keep soaking it um this and a bit of hot water and it came off like magic so dish soap that is awesome I will I go through that a little bit too fast as well because I use that as a hand soap which I shouldn't but I do <laughs> um I have our laundry products next. So I have a dryer discs in aloe water and cucumber. Now I love these. They're awesome. They just scent your clothes really, really nicely. And you hang your clothes outside after using this laundry line. And um, if it's a little bit breezy, you can smell the smell whatever scent you've used. Just you walk outside and you can smell it. Our, our washing line is about 10 meters away from the house and you can still smell it. Um, so along with that I have, of course, the washer whiffs, a big tub of washer whiffs. This was a laundry love bundle. Um, I am still going through the laundry liquid, but that's because I've been using that on and off. I haven't used that constantly, constantly. Um, but if you use them, start using them all at the same time, they all finish at the same time, unless you're like me and I've used it on and off, um, but I use my washer whiffs, my beloved washer whiffs. I love them. So they should all finish at the same time after about 50 loads. Um, what are we into next? I have a fragrance flower here. Now this one is, I think this one's even aloe water and cucumber. I'm pretty sure it's aloe water and cucumber. Yeah, it must be. Um, now this finished, oh, it didn't have any oil left in it probably about, two weeks, three weeks ago, um, and I can still smell it. It still smells gorgeous. Um, you can't smell it in the room, of course, um, unless it's got a breeze behind it. You can't smell it because it's all empty. But I just put a new one in the toilet, Luna in the toilet, and I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I cannot, I cannot recommend these highly enough. Um, I need to get some more. But again, we are in lockdown in New Zealand. And we cannot get anything but essentials. So the laundry line, the body line, and the cleaning line, they're all essentials, which is awesome because I, I love all of them. Um, but I really, really, really want some more. What are these? Fragrance flowers. I just lost my train of thought for a minute there. 
Um, all right, so now I have two pods. I have a Honeymoon Hideaway. Um, oh, I love Honeymoon Hideaway. I've got this actually, I've got a mini fan diffuser, the ones that I that you have in the car or, or they're the USB one that has to be plugged in. Um, and I've got it in our bedroom at the moment with Honeymoon Hideaway in it. And um, I was quite surprised actually. The first day I didn't smell anything and then from then on I have started to smell it. It's been in there for a week or so now so it's starting to get, I need to change it out. Um, but I'm very highly surprised and um, impressed at how I could smell it. Now I have sea salt and avocado here. Now these ones, along with one of the honeymoon hideaway ones, I have actually put in our wardrobes. So the kids both have one and we have one in our wardrobes. And you open the door and it just smells gorgeous. So it just, I don't know, we've got a really old house. Um, so I don't know if anyone else knows what I'm talking about. But you get that musky, sort of almost damp sort of smell. It's not damp, but that's the sort of smell I get from it. Um, and these just take that away really, really nicely. And this is a lovely scent, sea salt and avocado. It's actually it's almost got a sweet scent to it in the, in the empty container. All right, now we're into the bars. Um, I have four, five, six, seven bars here. And again, like I mentioned, these are all old bars. Now that I am a consultant and I can purchase bars anytime I want without having to go through someone else's website or someone else. I decided to use up all of my old bars. And when I say old bars, I mean they're about four or five years old. So they're really, they're really quite stingy and <laughs> nasty. Look at that. Can you see all that? That's nasty. Anyway, so this is the first one, Lemon Sorbet. Oh, it's lovely. It's, um, of course, you can smell the lemon. But you can, actually, I couldn't smell that before. I warmed this in the bathroom, the last of this. I can't remember what it was like in open spaces, but I only had about two two cubes left. So I put it in the bathroom just recently to use it up. And I couldn't smell that. But it smells lemony. It smells sweet. So if you, if anyone's walked into a fudge factory or a fudge shop, this is what it smells like. The undertone sweet, which is, it's really, really sweet. Like it's an artificial sweet type thing. But the fudge, <laughs> there's a fudge factory in Hokitika or shop in Hokitika that I walk into and that's what it reminds me of. Not the lemon scent, the sweet scent. <laughs> so I've got passion fruit vanilla here. Again, it's got all its oils in the bottom. Sorry, I'm shaking. <laughs> Seems to be something that runs in our family. Now this is a floral, it's sort of got a little bit of floral in it. But then it's a vanilla, so it's not sweet like that. That to me is sickly sweet. Um, this is a floral sweet. Um, it's, it's got vanilla in it. So if anyone's had simply vanilla, that's what the vanilla smells like in this. I can't really smell passion. Can't really smell passion fruit. It's sweet. A sweet passion fruit, put it that way. Um, next I have jammy time. Now jammy time for me always seems to leave residue in the bottom. I can't, I don't know if you can see that. It is all yellow. It's a funny colour. The wax always seems to discolour for me. Um, and I never liked this scent. Not until I warmed it just recently. It's got a bit of lavender in it. Um, it's just a calming scent. It's a very calm scent. It's in the kids range. Um, kids scent range. Sorry, I keep saying um. It's really bothering me too. So I apologize for that. I'll, I'll try and make a conscious effort not to say it. Next we have Go Wildflowers. Now this is another one again. All of them. All of them are just all oily and, and nasty because they've been sitting there for years. So some of them actually don't have much of a scent to them anymore. Oh, that's strong. It's stronger than the wax it should itself because of all the oils. It's a really nice scent, but it's not. It used to be one of my favourites. I used to stocked up on it. Um, and this is my last bar. Uh, actually, I might have one more bar of this left. 
Yeah, I might have one more bar of this left, but it's it's not my favourite scent. Not at all. It's too sweet. Here I have Gogo Mango. Um, Gogo Mango is quite nice. It's very, very, very sweet. It, the, I, I have a strange sweet scent. That, that Go Wildflowers is too much. This is a very sweet artificial mango scent. Um, it's still really nice. I enjoy it one cube at a time. It, too much is too much. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Now I've got Aloha Citrus. Um, this one is probably the oldest one out of the box. And yeah, it started to lose its scent, but I really like Aloha Citrus. And it's just been in our clearance range. And I got my order in before the 1st of April. So I am waiting for that in the um, next order in the mail right now. So I'm excited about that. I bought the scent pack as well. So I have uh, Sunkiss Citrus here. Now this again, it's really sweet. It's a really sweet artificial citrus. It is not a fresh lemon zest or anything like that. This is an artificial sort of almost an orangey mandarin -y sort of a scent. Um, it's, re it's nice. It's just really sweet. So I have this in my Scentsy Club actually and it might be one that I take out. But again, all of these bars are old so they're all not quite their right scent. But that is my last um, empty for this month. I am still going through a few of my older scents, but the newer scents I'm too ex excited to use. So I am getting through those as well. Um, alrighty, guys. I hope you are all staying safe and well and looking after each other. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>